Formula One is all about innovation and finding the best possible use for the latest cutting-edge technology to produce the fastest cars possible while still staying within the confines of the complicated rules and regulations that govern the sport. Alpine CEO Laurent Rossi has now revealed how they plan to use one such technology as quoted by Motorsport. I'm your host, Dylan Shelley, and first up on Formula World, Alpine to use artificial intelligence to win championship by 2025. Rossi began by stating their goal and the team's belief. We want to win races and possibly a championship, and that's by the end of 2024 or 2025, depending on when the regulations period ends. I believe we have all the tools to get there in the specific environment. We reset the performance with the new rules. Everyone starts from zero and we work under the same constraints. He then stated that F1 will become more of a level field by then. Even though some of the teams have better resources, let's not hide ourselves behind a figure, as it's more or less the same game. So, it becomes a bit easier for us to fight. It's not like we put in 200 million and they put in 500 million. 200 plus or minus something is fine, we can do it. We have the stability that the Renault Group offers for 5 to 10 years of constant funding and also the assets. He summed up his words by revealing one such key asset that they feel will help them bridge and surpass the gap to the championship contenders. The fact is that Formula 1 is moving more and more towards less and less physical testing with more and more simulations and data analysis. In the Renault Group, we have AI machine learning scientists of top-notch quality. This has been used for the past 20 years everywhere on the manufacturing side, on marketing, everywhere. We can summon them and have them on board to help us bring a next layer of strategy, for instance, during the race or data analysis. All of those things can help us bridge the gap and potentially overtake the others. Fast feed. Ferrari chairman John Elkin pointed out that Formula One, with its spirit of competition and innovation, has always been a fundamental part of Ferrari. This year, as we celebrate the 75th anniversary of our first production car leaving the factory, we honour that spirit by naming our 2022 F1 Challenger the Ferrari F175. For former F1 driver Antonio Giovinazzi, getting back into F1 is the main goal for 2023. I left an open chapter. I do not feel I have given everything in that championship. Red Bull advisor Helmut Marko feels that it's impossible to compare Ayrton Senna, Michael Schumacher and Max Verstappen because they're from different periods but what they all have is a complete focus. You could also call it ruthlessness. There is nothing else, but I want to win and I'll do anything for it. McLaren's Daniel Ricciardo has revealed that homesickness made the year even harder. The lows feel even deeper. I do have a family around me in McLaren, but not my family. It's not even about them putting their arm around me. It's more about switching off. A family can be a very nice sanctuary, and that's why it's hard without them. Haas team principal Gunther Steiner wants to leave the decision regarding holding sprint qualifying in the hands of Stefano Domenicali to sort out. For sure, if it makes sense commercially and the fans like it enough, they will try to do it. But I'm not going out of my way so that the big teams get an advantage out of it because we raise the budget cap. Why would we open a loophole here? Red Bull sporting director Jonathan Wheatley thinks that if you look at any elite sportsman in any sport, they raise the bar, they challenge everyone around them. They make it a very difficult job to try to police them from time to time. Will the use of technologies such as AI and machine learning in F1 lead to advantages for teams in the future? Head over to my community page to vote in the poll and let me know what you think in the comments. And if you liked this video, feel free to subscribe and check out my others for all the latest in the world of Formula 1.